Well, no doubt many of you have seen this article in This Week magazine with some wonderful pictures by photographer Richard Hewitt. It was sent to us by Mrs. Raymond Nyes of Omaha, Nebraska, and tells about the sad plight of a miniature Indian elephant named Baby. Well, we found out that a used car lot in Long Beach, California had bought Baby. Her job was to lure in customers, and she did fine. Only trouble was, they didn't buy any cars. They only came to see Baby. She was absolutely no good to the car dealer. She was only a white elephant, so they had to get rid of her. Well, the family mentioned in this article kept her for a while, and then our poor wandering elephant was moved here to Old McDonald's farm, unwanted. To a farm within a farm, located at the world-famous Knott's Berry Farm in Buena Park, California. Plenty of animals there, goodness knows, like you'd find on any farm. And all have startling IQs, as you'll see in a moment. A donkey, chickens, geese, turkeys. So it didn't seem very likely that... Yes, there she is. Baby finally found a home. But still, no one really wanted her. She was pretty lonely. They changed her name and put her in a pen all to herself. The other animals ignored her. What possible good was such a tiny elephant? Just a misfit, like always. And while Baby stood around, the rest of the animals worked for a living. Take Gabby the goat, for instance, and that funny-looking farmer there at the fence. Every time Gabby butts the farmer, grain falls down into the feed box. Watch now. It didn't take Gabby long to find that out, so he butts and eats all day long. And take Harry Hawk. Now, the minute he steps onto that chute, look what happens. Down goes the food, and down comes Harry for his dinner. They all earn their keep at old McDonald's farm. That even goes for Rufus Rabbit. Well, baby the elephant watched from her pen. She wanted to try their tricks too, but nobody had let her. So it looked like poor baby was still just a white elephant. Well, you can imagine the gossip around the barnyard when old McDonald had to bring her food in a tray. Of course, she's only 14 months old. She came to America when she was three, three months, that is. But she'll learn to eat hay later on. Well, like we said, the other animals gave her a wide berth. They weren't a bit friendly. To them, Baby was sort of an ugly duckling-type elephant, sort of a nothing. But then they began to notice something. Whenever kids came to the barnyard, they always went to see Baby first. And how Baby loved them. So Robert Rooster decided to find out what it was all about. Then old Harry Hogg. Well, they found Baby quite charming. And before you knew it, she had all sorts of company. The Chicken Aid Society came over to visit their new neighbor, too. Not too close, Harry. This rabbit dropped over to pay his respects. Well, they still couldn't figure out what the big attraction was. Neither could Baby. But it wasn't long till she'd arrived in old McDonald Farm Society and all the animals were visiting her all the time. Baby's lonely days were over. Fact is, Baby was so popular that the animals began neglecting their work. So finally, old McDonald had to ask them to kindly not visit her so much. And then the surprise. Now, that happens to be the largest bull in the world. And Baby was amazed at how small she looked beside him. A bull weighs 7,000 pounds. Baby weighs only 600. She'll get bigger, but right now she's the tiniest elephant in the whole United States. So Baby and all the other animals knew why she was so very important. Baby was no longer a white elephant. And that gave Baby the courage to say her very first words. Listen. You asked for it. It's been a real pleasure having you with us. So long for now. <laughs>